Hello, Anselm Griffin here again with another MATLAB tutorial in YouTube. Now, today we just want to try and explain the usefulness of mesh grid because we'll be doing a later video where we use mesh grid. So just in case, we just want to get an idea of what it does. Now, I published it to HTML format because it's easier to read and to see what's going on. So the whole idea is that we want to get every possible combination so we've defined x here as minus two to the plus three. So minus two to the plus three, that would be a one by six. And y is four to eight, and that would be a one by five. So there we have it. Now we cannot multiply x by y because a one by six by one by five in matrix convention, you can't do, you just won't go. And neither can you do a dot multiply or a dot divide or whatever it is. Why? Because that's a one by six and that's a one by five. So we can't get all the possible combinations. So, and once we have all the possible combinations, we can then apply some mathematical function or some mathematical operation. So how do we do this? Mesh grid. So remember X, Y are the inputs and the outputs are capital X and capital Y. So if you remember X is there, that's a one by six. So we're going to have five rows of minus two to the plus three. So there's row one, there's row two, etc. There's row five. So X is now a five by six. And the original Y there is going to be a one by five. So if you transpose four, five, six, seven, eight, you can just see it running along that diagonal there. And then you're going to have six columns of that. And where does the six come from? Remember, when you look at X, it's one by six. So you're going to have six columns of Y transpose. Remember Y transpose, Y was a one by five. Turn it on its side, there's four to eight. Column one, column two, column three, column six. So now uppercase X, uppercase Y have the same dimensionality. You can do a matrix multiply if you want, but we're going to do some sort of just a simple dot multiply. So we're going to do minus two by four, minus one by four, zero by zero, etc. And say just the last one here, we're going to do eight by three. And eight by three is twenty-four. So we've got all the possible combinations. Okay, so hope that helps a little and thanks very much.